שלא אתן דרכו, אולי הבית שלי צריך בדק, ואולי בעצם אפשר לשבת כל היום ולטחון ולטחון את זה, לשבת כל הלילה וללעוס וללגום את זה, אבל למה לי לצלול ולחטוף דיכאון מזה, יותר עדיף שלא כי אין פתרון, אז מה עושים? מתנחמים מתפננים על סיר חמים מנפנפים, מתנחמים עפים על הר הקיילים, ושרים שיהיה טוב, שרים כדי לא לראות, שרים כדי לא לראות ש... שיר נחמה In Israel, even though we wish we could be right now. Even though it might look like it. We just brought Israel to us. Yeah, we did. Mm. Even whiskey, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Guns! Yeah. Yeah, we it's got it It's been fun. It's five o'clock. Yeah, here Should at we? the Whiskey Heathens I mean, World Headquarters. We're here. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, so. What we got? Tell the people what we've got. We are uh, enjoying the first classic single malt whiskey from Milk and Honey. And I'd read to you from this literature, but this uh, this document that was given to me by our the foreign dossier, spies yes, continue. Uh, is outdated. Mm. And this wasn't made when this was printed, so they only talk about it. So what we'll read is off the box here. Oh, straight from the source. All right, here we go. Israel's first whiskey distillery. Inspired by our city of Tel Aviv, we fulfilled our dream and established Israel's first whiskey distillery. Since 2012, our passionate and dedicated team, under the expert guidance of the late Dr. Jim Swan, has boldly crafted single malt spirits. Our whiskeys are the result of our innovative essence and meticulous cask selection. Perfected, we'll see. <laughs> perfected by the hot and humid climate of vibrant Tel Aviv, our unwavering vision has shaped our whiskey into a smooth, balanced, and surprisingly complex spirit. Get set to discover a new world of whiskey. So, so I'm looking at the legs mm. while you're reading. What are you seeing? I'm seeing that they're um, starting off viscous and turning very thin, but then they are lasting forever. Yeah, they're staying there. I can they're see that. They're still there. So that was one other thing I forgot to mention to you, Josh. Um, <gasps> I'm going to read you just a few things that are on the front oh, of the bottle here. Say it to me. Classic single malt whiskey. Our classic single malt whiskey is made using the finest ex-bourbon casks and our special red wine STR casks, giving it a light and balanced character matured under the Tel Avivian sun. What else does it say? It says non-chill filtered. Is that it? A natural color. Woo! And 46%. Not 40. Not 40. Wow. 46, they're bringing this in at. You got me, okay? You got me. So, you're I enjoying mean, the legs. Yeah, like, still a little roll. bit there if you look right here. And that's crazy. Up around the top I got of the a, more of a skirt than anything. It's all there, oh, yeah. They're slowly coming down. So, that's That's this very, nice. very, very interesting for such a young whiskey. At 46, it smells hot, though. Maybe it's just I me. I get like um, no more as we've tasted before. If you've watched our other couple episodes on this stuff, uh, we got uh, very plant forward, chlorophyll, eucalyptus, uh, maybe even borderlining mint. But this one, I don't get that so much. It's more, it's more the bourbon now. It actually smells to me like woodsy bourbon, and I'm getting that vanilla, but it's more of a charred kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, it's just interesting to me. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Smell the oak finally. Oh, um, for sure. Didn't get that on the uh, on the the new make or the <clears throat> the la well, obviously not on the new make on the last one. They're twelve month old, but this definitely smell that bourbon cask. Yeah, man. Shall we? Yeah, let's do this. Mm. Very youthful. I've been waiting eight years for this, and. I'm excited about it. Yeah? Do you it, enjoy it? It is. I do, actually. Okay. Um, Super young. Sweeter than I expected it to be. Uh, I think that's a lot of the, the bourbon. I'm not getting much uh, Don't wine. get much of the red wine on this yeah. one, no. Yeah, not at all. Bourbon influence is, is heavy. Um, it sits 
on the on the front of the tongue for me, the the the, the last one kind of coated the mouth. The new make definitely coated the mouth. Mm -hmm. This is more front front forward. Yeah, I agree. It doesn't linger very long. No. I find the finished is very intense. But as you said, it, it's it flavorful though. Uh, yeah, it's intense and it dissipates. Maybe intense was the wrong word. I don't mean like ugh, intense, but I mean like succulent. Starts off very succulent and then dissipates kind of quickly. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's uh, quite tasty. I am happy to have had a chance to try this. I know that they've got uh, sherry cask finish that's uh, out Ooh. now. We'll be looking for and for being a the first distillery in Israel. I really look forward to trying more stuff from them. Yeah, yeah. So for their classic first whiskey. Not bad. Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty pleased. Pretty tasty for sure. This is, uh, this is quite decent. I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what's next. No. Yep. Really? And we will see. We will be following this journey for years to come. Yeah, we will. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy that we got this done, so. Hashtag kosher. Yeah, I should mention kosher certified as well. Legit. I don't know any other kosher whiskeys, so. I have no idea. Mm. Well, mazel tov. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, heathens, and cheers, cheers milk and honey. Well done. Congratulations on your journey. Mm -mm -mm.